While the Director General in the Department of International Relations, Zane Dango, says South Africa is worried about the security of Minister Dr. Naledi Pandu. This comes after the minister said messages were directed to her family as part of attempts to intimidate her for her strong stance against Israel. The SA government has also written a letter to the International Court of Justice asking the World Court to impose more measures against Israel after the Israeli Defense Force launched attacks on Rafah. We're making the same call to the U.S. Stop arming Israel. Stop supporting this this genocide. Because in essence, um, if the merits of the ICJ continues um, and we, we find that we need move from beyond being plausible to actual genocide being proven in the court, then third party states who have assisted these acts could be held liable for aiding and abetting. So we are asking all third party states, including the US, the UK and others, to respect the findings of the court, to respect the provisional orders, to, en to, to stop enabling Israel from doing what it's doing, and to hold them accountable and to end the impunity. So that's, what, that's the call we're making to the US and others that profess to respect international law and the rule of just law. We have also, as South Africa, um, sent a letter yesterday to the ICJ asking the court itself to use the powers that it has to, without um, oral hearings, um, institute additional uh, provisional measures. There's a, there's a, there's a, the provision in the ICJ um, that they can do this, and we've just asked them to exercise that right that the court does have, given the gravity of the situation in Rafa at the moment. You've pointed out 67 people. I think the death toll might be higher. Um, there's 1.5 million people um, cramped in a very small space, uh, mostly refugees in the so-called safe space. And any any offensive, whether it is through missiles or ground offensive, will will create um, massive casualties. Um, and, you know, this is, again, the continuation of this unfolding genocide. And we are hoping that the, the ICJ will use these powers and um, through, you know, um, agree to, to implement another provisional orders without South Africa having to go and make any oral arguments.